All right, crit. It did crit, however. We got the flinch! <laughs> I forgot it could do that. I forgot it could do that. That's so cool. <laughs> so today we are using a team that was voted on by our Patreon on my Patreon page that said, what Pokemon should I build a team around? Picked a few that I thought were pretty interesting and Ursha who is <laughs> Surian Decidui was one of the ones that stood out to me. So I put it on that poll along with like Toxapex and a few others and it ended up winning. So today we're going to be using that team. Quick overview of the team. We have Adaptability, Choice Scarf, Jolly, Basque Legion. All right. So everything on this team is normal except for the Decidui and the uh, Choice Scarf Basket Legion. Basket Legion, Basket Legion is just Jolly, Max Speed, Max Attack, uh, Flip Turn, Wave Crash, Last Respects, Aqua Jet uh, with Terra Steel and Adaptability. Uh, and the Decidui, it's Razor Claw, Triple Arrows, Scrappy. So our Triple Arrows can hit Ghost types um, and has a high crit rate along with our Leaf Blade that has a high crit rate that's 50%. Uh, we also have Swords Dance and Shadow Sneak as our last two moves and we are a Terra Ghost. So yeah, let's get into it. Sponsor time. This channel is partnered with Gamersups. If you want to support my work and get great tasting drinks, you can order Gamersups through my link in the description down below or with code MOXIEBOOSTED at checkout for 10% off. Gamersups is a caffeinated product that I recommend only to my 18 plus viewers, but my link will send you to their caffeine free product section just in case. Every product purchased through my link supports my channel financially, so I'd really appreciate the support. Now back to the video. Um, honestly, I wish I had rain dance. <laughs> I wish I had rain dance. So I think here, well, actually Terra Dragon lead seems pretty good. I have to be careful with that. Um, King Gambit is the only issue. You know, let's do this. They're not ranked terribly high. I think we can bring the Sidui. Who knows? Maybe I'll get smacked around for trying this. Maybe they'll show me. They'll be like, no. Nah. I was just in the 3000s because of a bad couple of games. I mean, that happens to me too, all the time. Have you tried using Hisuian Samurai on a team? No, but I'm open to trying it if it wins a poll. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, please be special attack boosting. Speed. Okay, that's not great. However... However, I think I'm open to Terra Dragon make it rain here and just Tailwind. Because I doubt they'll go for the uh, fairy move onto me. And if they do go for a Dazzling Gleam, we should live as long as they're not Specs. Oh, there's Herring. Okay, what is it? Terra Water. Well, that's not great. They just sunny day me? Okay. Interesting. They thought I was gonna rain dance. Luckily Torn just tanks. Um, I should be able to just go for this Bleak Wind now. We'll Shadow Ball here. This Bleak Wind should not get a range of Shadow Sneak, I think. As they helping hand. Oh, we're gonna get D-Gleam so hard. Okay. Oh my god, he flies? Uh, okay, do they have any normal types or can I just win right here? Last respects, triple arrows crit? I mean, if they don't have, if, if I manage to like not lose my Basque Legion or my Decidui here and they don't have a Rillaboom in the back, I think I actually just win. All right, crit. It did crit, however. We got the flinch. <laughs> I forgot it could do that. I forgot it could do that. That's so cool. <laughs> It's Ogre Pawn. Hey, Ogre Pawn. You don't live this move. You don't live this move, silly. I forgot that that move can flinch, dude. We're making out of we're making it out of Hisui with this one, boys. Don't be relevant, please. Oh no, we're getting we're getting smacked here. We are getting smacked. Live? Nope, we lose. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I didn't want to win anyways. I didn't want to win anyways. Yeah, I mean, I should have brought Hisui and Arcanine to this matchup 100%, but I was scared of the King Gambit, and I really wanted to go for the Hisui and Decidui game right off the bat. That's on me. Arcanine was always the correct play, but I wanted to use Decidui. <laughs> Dog, I hate ladder. This is why I only like streaming tournaments. I hate ladder so much. <laughs> is this the blender? Is someone trying to pull the blender on me? All right, so good news is I can always Swords Dance here. Can't go Golden Go, though. I Actually, I'm so weak to that Garg. I have to get rid of it first. <sighs> Man, and I need this Basque, too. Let me think about what's in the back before I do this. 
You know what? We can just take out that Garg in one hit if I commit. I'm committing to KOing this Garg in one hit. That should be a range of a crit, I think. Nope. No crit. <laughs> Get a defense drop, though. That's nice. Get the flinch, too. Awesome. Yes! <laughs> Leaf Blade here. They do wide guard, but... I mean, if I crit this Leaf Blade, who cares? Why do you need adaptability if Swift Swim just not easy enough to utilize at Rain Dance? It's just that, like, you're already facing Tailwind teams, so Rain Dance doesn't do much for you. <clears throat> You'd rather just have the immediate damage on all of your moves. Also, epic crit. There's Jolteon. What do you even do here? What do you even do? I'm not I'm not gonna stop using Rock Sled. I swear to god, if you Terra Ice Terra Blast me. Okay, no, alright. I mean we live because it's Jolteon. But I still don't like that. Cool. Send out your Flutter Man. Let me crit a Shadow Sneak. Wait, did they even have a Flutter Man? They have a Lucario. That's almost a Flutter Man. Um, do you just lose to these two? Yes, so I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna go Golden Go here. On what is pretty obviously just gonna be like a close combat. And we'll Shadow Sneak for damage. Lucario Eco Slaughter Main, got it, yes. This is true. Ooh, okay. Alright. Calm down. Calm down, buddy. Ooh, it's inner focus, okay. Uh I mean Really we just like make it rain. And also Flare Blitz. I, I need to get rid of this guy and then we just always win with our um Yeah, they just forfeit. <laughs> I was gonna say we always just win with Basket Legion, don't we? Uh oh look, a normal team. Okay. Uh, matching Tailwind seems like really good here. Go with the... Uh... Go with this. I like that. This isn't that bad. Um, I can match their Tailwind, Terra Dragon up, and go for uh, Make It Rain. And that's actually just like super good. Yeah. Which is the last one? I don't think it's the last one. I think it's just the last of the Hisuians. As they try to taunt me. Pathetic. I mean, they have to Tailwind, right? Let's go Basket Legion here. And I'll make it rain again. It's because Basket Legion doesn't care about, like, you know, Flare Blood. I'm not that big into VGC and curious so you think of the current meta is fun. I think the current meta is extremely centralized, but it isn't centralized to the point where you can't experiment. And that's the type of meta that I like, you know? Am I about to get Terra Flying? No, no, okay, that's fine, that's fine. They just really wanted to make sure they didn't go down this turn. This should KO. Nice. Alright, Rillaboom. Oh boy, it's Rillaboom. That's the guy I didn't want to see. That's the guy that I was genuinely like, I really hope we don't face a Rillaboom. Um, I can go for Aqua Jet and pick up this KO, but then things don't look so good past that point. Ooh, is that worth it? Because I can also get it with Shadow Ball. I think it's worth it. Then we'll get in our Tornadoes here. Yeah, because if Golden Go switching out first, that means they stayed in with their Tornadoes. And I think they always Bleak Wind here to pick up the, the Golden Go. Oh, are you kidding me? Don't speed drop me. Don't you dare speed drop me right now. That was an adaptability move. I'm surprised that lived. Alright, who wants to play a game? It's ever, it's America's favorite game. Land the Bleak Wind. So we know that we're faster. That's a fact, because turn one that happened. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this opportunity to Swords Dance up in Bleak Wind. The problem with experimenting right now is that... Anything that isn't legendary gets absolutely bodied and stats to the point where they they get one shot. That's not true. That's just like straight up not true. We have tons of non-legendaries that are like completely viable. 
uh, Amoongus, Arcanine, uh, Rillaboom. The issue is that these are common because they don't get bodied. And people think because of that reason that you can't experiment. It's like, no, there, there are other Pokemon that you just straight up use. Basket Legion is like a phenomenal Pokemon that we saw um, do like super, super well at the most recent regional. Well, that did way more than I thought. Is that in range of crit shadow sneak? I think it is in range of crit shadow sneak, but I have to crit. And that's the issue here. Urshifu. Yeah, that's like a required crit. And I think we tailwind here. Because then next turn we outspeed Urshifu, right? Yeah. And then Golden Go comes in. Fifty it's not fifty. All right, nice. Time to play America's favorite game, Land the Bleak Wind. Yeah, their tailwind's gone. We still have it up. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. America's favorite game. Can I get a double? Aqua Jet, that shouldn't do it. Oh, they might have doubled, though. But it's fine, because I have two opportunities to land a Bleak Wind. I only have to land it on the Rillaboom this turn. Yeah, time to play Wheel of Bleak Wind. Alright, time to land one more. <laughs> they said no. They said it's not okay. You don't get to land the Bleak Wind. They said, you know what? You earned it. Goodbye. That's actually really funny. Um, Let me think. So, I'm trying to think if I can even bring this guy. I think I'm just going to force it for maximum Urshifu, or for maximum Urshahu content, I think I have to force it. We need to do it for maximum Urshahu content. We all want our Urshahu content, don't we? Um, how bad is this? It's not that bad, but I do need the Tailwind, and that's what really sucks. And I have to Terra. Yeah, we'll Tailwind up, and I have to go for the Sword Stance this turn. Luckily, I mean, Hisuian Decidue has enough spit up where we can definitely eat a Heat Wave. My concern is if it's Life Orb, we don't eat it as well as I want. Is there any chance Hisuian Decidue is viable in tournament? Probably not, but I think I built like a semi-decent team where you could like probably X into with it if you played well enough. All right, don't burn me. Oh, come on. I, I asked for one thing. I asked for one thing. Can I crit here? That would help a lot. Nice. Nice burn, idiot. Eat arrows. All right, there's Lando. Lando doesn't appreciate a Leaf Blade, especially if it crits. The only issue is it's probably Scarf, but I don't care. Speed drop. Speed drop, please. Nope, they get the Rock Slide off. I think I live. As long as I don't flinch, I'm fine. Don't get the crit, but that's fine. Just gotta connect a Bleak Wind. And here I can triple arrows. It's all the same. Actually, do I... I Leaf Blade regardless, don't I? Yeah, if they tear the Amoongus or something. Oh, America's favorite game. We missed the thing we needed to hit. Great. We got to play America's favorite game and we lost. Oh, hold on. No, we're fine. Decidueye avoids. Do we live one more turn? Yes. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. They don't know. I didn't sneak there because I was just more concerned with um, getting rid of Amoongus. Because a sleep could ruin me. Also, I, I thought they might Rage Powder. That's within Last Respect's range. Because I can Shadow Sneak. I think I lock Wave Crash and I never lose. Alright, got rid of you. The issue here is it's Scarf Landorus. But I can just E-Speed here, and that goes before Rage Powder. Yeah, we win. We're fine. Yeah, nice. Okay. 
The Sidhu, I actually did things that game. I'm happy with that. That is a Galarian Slow King. I have never seen you. I don't even know what you do. Let's go with this. And I get a lot of value out of Arcanine here. Yeah, those guys. Chen Pao, never seeing play. Fake Pokemon. All right. I mean, they're probably Mental Herb. I want to assume they're Mental Herb. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it. I think they're Mental Herb. Yeah. Doesn't KO. Cool. Kind of look like Banded damage. No, Sash. Okay, glad I doubled. I just don't see you running Galarian Slowking without a Mental Herb, so I'm just assuming that's the case. I'm going to have to rely on a lot of priority here. Go for another Bleak Wind. I'm just going to Shadow Sneak here. It's not like I can hit that guy. Alright, please be Life Orb. Not Life Orb, okay. I did a decent amount, but not enough. Terranormal Normal E-Speed doesn't seem bad here. And I gotta hold on to my Basque. I'll protect Terra Normal E-Speed, and two should do it. Alright, please Psychic into the Tornadus and Earth Power. They just protected, okay. Alright, uh, not much loss there, but it's still not great. Technically, I always go for the double here. Don't be Terra Ghost. Be Terra Normal like a normal person. Don't be Terra Ghost. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why can't you just be normal? <laughs> Alright. The only, like, good outcome of this is that if we can pick up a KO on this thing on the right, I think we can win. Because we can lock Last Respects. It's the last turn of Trick Room. If this picks up on the Galarian Slow King, I think we're all right. Because they have to Hyper Voice now. Trick Room ends. I have a Choice Scarf Mon. If they don't have, like, you know, a super duper mega priority move, we should win. All right. What is this? We have three Mons down. This is a 400 base power move. Nothing lives it as long as there's no Sash. Yeah, you're, you're dead. Behold. Ta-da. <laughs> that is the strongest last respects I've ever clicked in this game. That's 400 base power after adaptability. Nice. You're sort of a soft trick room team. Um, I actually really like my Arcanine lead here. The Sidui. Do I want Tornadus in the back? I think we bring Tornadus in the back. Or actually, mm, now I'll bring you. It's more or less the lead I was hoping for here. I think we'll just lock Rock Slide, and I'll go for uh, Terra Ghost Shadow Sneak. All right. Watch me get this crit. I'm pretty sure the crit doesn't even KO if they're bulky Flutter. Oh, looks like crit would have KO'd. It's fine, though, especially if we don't flinch here. Life Orb, ooh. Oh, great. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. I, I didn't want to win. No. Winning's stupid anyways. That's fine. I don't I don't even care. I, I don't I don't even care, you know? Alright. Luckily they're life orbs, so they've taken a bit of chip damage here. I can go Chen Pao. And try to Ice Go Crash flinch them. Oh, I have Ice Spinner. I forgot. Dang it. Okay. So technically, this is my better option. If that's the case. I forgot I'm Spinner for si uh, to face Sice Spam. Terra Water. Okay. Am I with an E Speed range? It's Life Orb E-Speed. I'm definitely within E-Speed range. They're at minus one, though. There's a chance I live that. I mean, I dropped to recoil anyways. It doesn't matter. We lost this one.
Okay, it's not over in the same way that, like, my parents love me, which is, like, it's questionable. I think that that's within Choice Band range. Go for Rock Slide here. I think Choice Band Rock Slide with Beads of Ruin has a chance to pick up. We have to click Sucker, though. The only way we lose this... Or I think... Yeah, I think the only way we're, like, guaranteed to lose that is if they, like, uh, had Ally Switch. But as long as we connect this Rock Slide, we're fine. Okay, cool. I think we win. Oh, wait. This is still kind of close. Um, I go for my Rock Slide here. Fish for a flinch. Go for a Protect to make sure they take extra damage from... Because they have to Earthquake, right? Um, make sure they take extra damage from Burn. And then it might be within range of Ice Spinner, but it's it's close. If I flinch here, I definitely win, though. I think that's in range, but it, Chen Pao can hit like a wet noodle sometimes, man. It, it's kind of a wet noodle Pokemon. Especially versus something with bulk like this guy. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Awesome. 454? Okay. Um... It's a very good Arcanine game, as long as we don't get flinched again. Also, I open I openly acknowledge that this is not a good Urshifu game, but we need... Or not Urshifu. Uh, this is not a good Decidueye game, but we need to bring it just because I, I need to use it. I acknowledge that right off the bat. Why not run Decidueye Scarf with Follow Me next to it? What would that even do? Like, when you, when you build a Pokemon, you have to have some intent next to it. Like, it can't just be a concept, you know? Like, a Scarf Decidueye with Follow Me next to it would only, like, outspeed a few things, because it's only, like, what, 60 speed? And it would also not KO anything, because it doesn't have, like, a high crit chance on anything. Um, you don't have, like, SD or anything. It just gets outrun anyways. Alright, looks like they're going for Trick Room. I can actually Swords Dance up here pretty well. I think I want to get Arcanine off the field, too. Or do I? Maybe I just Rock Slide. Yeah, I'll Rock Slide here. I'll Terrago Swords Dance. Can I flinch? That'd be so hot. That would be so hot if I could flinch. Doesn't quite KO. I think I'd like to prevent the Tailwind. Or not the Tailwind, the Trick Room. And I also have a decent chance to flinch here, so we'll go for this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Triple arrows into you. Who am I catching with this? Arcanine? That's fine. This is still going to do a ton. Got the crit too. Awesome. And Arcanine might be within a Shadow Sneak range. Let's go ahead and get in Tornadus here. And I think plus two Shadow Sneak does it. And then I always get off my Tailwind. And Arcanine can go crazy. Also, Basket Legion. Nice. They messed up. Oh, they live? Okay, that sucks. Okay, you tank, though. You're fine. You're fine. Um, Yeah, I mean, I always just Tailwind here. And take out you. Figured it'd be Sash, but now I just Rock Slide everything. I also have a flinch chance here. No flinch. That's fine. We'll click Rock Slide and Last Your Specs. Technically, E-Speed is better here. Yeah, E speed's always E speed's always the play, because it hits the uh, it hits the Iron Hands harder, and I'm Scarf, so I don't get outsped by this guy anyways. Ooh, this is actually a little bit scary. I think that's still within Last Respects range because it's 150, but now I'm scared I'm gonna get like snarled, because they could they could fake out my Arcanine here. Let me think. Dang, now I wish I rock slided. I didn't want to. I don't want to risk the miss though. I think I always do this. 
so I can live like a snarl. Go Arcanine. Okay, cool. I got the Arcanine switch. We're fine. There's no way 300 base power adaptability doesn't KO Iron Hands, right? Even at minus one. And even if it doesn't, Wild Charge should KO them on me. Oh my god. Are you are you for real right now? You just live that. Iron Hands is such a broken Pokemon. Oh my god. Um, maybe we can tank a Wild Charge. That's like my only out. But I doubt it. Because we definitely don't take a Dark Pulse. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Hands. Yeah, I keep saying things should KO Iron Hands. I forgot that the correct answer is that they don't. Alright, we'll call it there. That's insane that that... It's adaptability last respects. It didn't even KO. So what happened there um, at the end was I tried to play it safe. I didn't want to miss a rock slide. If I rock slided, I always won. Except if I missed. And I had missed so many rock slides that I didn't want to click it again. I was like, I can just e-speed here. So I just decided to go with the e-speed instead. But it is what it is. Uh, let me make the rental code public. All right. So here's the code. Honestly, it's it says Honch Code. That's not the name of the team. But yeah, uh, here's the code. Honestly, in my opinion... I think we kind of got some bad luck today. Uh, we did get outplayed, and I also made did I did make some like bad plays at times. Um, but overall, I think the team's usable enough, um, and it did pretty well on testing. And then in the showcase, not quite as good as I hoped. Uh, but it is like a team where if you pilot it well enough, you'll be fine. Anyways, if you enjoyed, you know, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, um, and if you're if you want to vote on what Pokemon I use next, you can actually become a YouTube channel member or join the Patreon. I do two separate polls uh, every time I, I make a team like this. So if you want to vote on the next one, have your say. You know, you can check it out down there. But yeah, if you're watching the video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.